Hi guys, for today's video, I am going to attempt to do a what's in my diaper bag. I have Miss Baby Girl right here sitting next to me, so we will see how this goes. But I thought this would be a really interesting video and helpful. I found these videos super helpful when I was trying to figure out what to pack in my diaper bag. So I wanted to share with you what I put in my diaper bag for my now four month old baby girl. It's always gonna change, obviously, depending on how old your baby is. So you're gonna pack different things for a newborn, different things for a six month old, different things for a one year old, but this is what I pack right now for my baby girl who's four months old and I find this really helpful. I also think there are you know, things that will be helpful regardless of the age, things that you're just gonna need in there. <laughs> yes, but um, I'm gonna show you guys what I've got in my bag, what kind of bag I have. I'm gonna link everything below so it's easy to find. And we're gonna try to get through this before Miss Thang gets tired of waiting for me to be done. So, first thing I'll talk about is just the bag itself and which one I have. So you probably have seen this one before. This is the Fawn Design bag. And I absolutely love this bag. It's so beautiful, it's so big, it's high quality, it's so cute, like I just love it. It's my favorite color. Yes, baby. And it comes in a ton of colors. So I'll link down below this bag. But I think they have black and brown and a ton of other colors. So if pink isn't your thing, they have neutral colors as well. But this is my favorite color, so I love this one. And the really nice thing about this is they actually have a motherhood bundle. So that includes a lot of other stuff with this bag, which I think is totally worth it. That's what I got for this um, diaper bag situation as I did the motherhood bundle. So in the motherhood bundle, and it's on sale too, it's a discounted price if you do the bundle. Um, I'm not sponsored at all, I just really love it and I think it's the best way to go if you're gonna buy this particular diaper bag. This comes with this little attachment here, the motherhood bundle does. This is a little pacifier, like binky holder, so it's really nice, you can keep the binky clean, you know exactly where it is, it's not gonna have like fuzz and grime all over it because you know exactly it's in this, this little pouch. And then it also comes with these little stroller slash cart straps. These are a game changer and I think it makes the bundle worth it because alone I think these are $20 and it evens out to be just such a good deal if you end up getting the bundle instead. So the nice thing about these straps is you can just put them on your stroller, put them on the uh, cart at Target, whatever, and then it hangs off like this on the handles and then you don't have to hold your bag, which I think is a game changer if you're going shopping for a long time or whatever. It's just so nice to be able to bring your diaper bag but not have to hold it. So those are awesome. It also comes with a bottle holder attachment, which is like an insulated thing like this, but it's for a bottle. I can't find that because we don't really use bottles, so I haven't used it in a long time, but that's awesome. If you use a ton of bottles, you can just stick the bottle right in there. You know where it is, it's insulated. <laughs> it hangs off the side, it's really nice. And then it comes with a little pouch, which I also don't have in here, but it has like a little extra pouch. And then the bag itself comes with this little strap that you can make it like a shoulder purse, whatever, like a hang off your shoulder bag, but it is a backpack. So you can choose. I knew I'd want the backpack. I like my hands free. I don't like to have something weighing down on my shoulder, especially when it's so full and there's so much stuff in here. So that is an option if you wanna do it as like a purse or a shoulder bag, but I just like to use the backpack straps because it's so much easier and so much more comfortable and then in this back portion there's like a little snap and it comes with a portable changing pad this is everything you need this no matter what you have to have one of these in your diaper bag because you will use it all the time this one's really nice because it snaps shut but it's really big it's easy to wipe clean good quality it's awesome this has been such a just necessity when we go out. I've had to use it many a time. So I just stick that in the flap. And then this particular bag has a ton of compartments. So there's a uh, thing back, thing, pocket back here that you can use. There are pockets on the sides of the bag um, right here. And there's a pocket in the front with a zipper. So 
that's what my bag looks like. I did the bundle, so I got all the stuff included. I think it's a really awesome deal. And now I'm gonna show you guys what's actually in my bag. So in this front pocket, I just keep, yes. I just keep a snack for myself. I feel like it's just sometimes very needed when you're out and about and it's nice to have a snack because if I need a snack, I need a snack. So I have one in there. And then inside the bag, I'll be able to show you once I kind of take some stuff out, but there's a ton of compartments in here so you can keep things very organized, which is nice, but it's really big. So you can also just shove stuff in the middle. Yes. So the first thing that I keep in here is this little pouch of stuff for me. So this is lip products, ponytail, hand sanitizer, and I just keep this in a little plastic container so I know where all my stuff is and it's just easy to find. So I have that in there. And then in this little first compartment on the back of the bag, I keep a deodorant for myself. And I guess I could put this in my little lip products but I have some more chapstick lip balm I'll just put that in here but I keep a few things for me in this back pocket and then I have a few pads in here as well so just the essentials that I would keep in a purse I definitely find that with the diaper bag I don't keep very much stuff for myself like I did in my purse but just the essentials and then I keep um, a scrunchie and some socks for her I always have extra socks because you lose them or it's hot in the morning and they don't need socks and then it gets cold and you need them. It's just something good to have. So that's the first compartment. Then just diving right into the middle of the bag, I keep a sleep sack for her. Um, she is now transitioned out of swaddles and she is in the Halo sleep sacks. I really like these ones. They're super cheap compared to other ones. And these are nice to have because a lot of times, you know, when you have a newborn, they just sleep on you regardless pretty much. But now that she's four months old, it's nice to have one of these if we go to my parents' house and she takes a crib nap. It's just good to have this with. Another thing I have that is so helpful is a little blanket. This is from Copper Pearl, and it's just one of these thin, stretchy blankets. This is one of the most useful items to have, I feel like, in your diaper bag. It's really big, it's really stretchy and thin, and what's nice is you can use this for so many things. You can obviously use it if she's cold and you, they need a blanket, but you can use this as a nursing cover, you can use this to cover the car seat, you can lay it out flat and have them play on it. It's just one of those items that I feel like is really versatile and really good to have. If you go to Target and your baby is bigger, you could put this over the seat in the cart. There's just a lot of uses for this. Yeah, so this is very good to have. And I have forgotten it before and really wish that I had it. So that's one thing I'd recommend. Then, going more in the middle, I shove a lot of stuff in just the big pouch of this bag. I have two burp cloths. You can never have enough burp cloths. This is both from Target. It's like a Carter's one and a Burt's Bees one. Burt's Bees ones are my favorite, but they're way more expensive. So I have like, I know. I have like one pack of Burt's Bees and like a million packs of these Carter's ones, but you need this for a spit up, drool, what have you, you know, you're always gonna need these. So I have these in there as well. And two onesies, just basic onesies in case she has a blowout or throws up all over herself. These are key to have. You don't wanna get caught somewhere when they have poop all over themselves, puke all over themselves and have nothing to change them into. So two extra onesies. I actually heard a really good tip from Allie Scott here on YouTube. I believe her name is Hello It's Allie on here. I watch her all the time. She's like a lifestyle motherhood vlogger. And she said to keep an extra shirt for yourself in your diaper bag. I actually don't have one in here, but that's such a good tip and I need to add that to my bag. In case your baby throws up on you, in case you, they have a blowout on you, you have something to change into. So that's a really good tip. And she also said to keep Ziploc bags in here for if they have a blowout, which I don't have in my bag, but it's a good tip and I should do that. Then I have this little sun hat. This is just nice in the summertime now when we go on walks and things like that. 
I just have found that there have been few times where I'm like, oh, I really wish I had her hat for her eyes because we'll go on a walk a lot of the times. Like if we go to my parents' house or we'll sit on the deck or whatever it is, it's just nice to have something like this for her. So I keep that in here. Then in the big compartment, I keep a ton of diapers. I'm not someone who keeps one or two diapers. I like to be super prepared and I also don't like to have to restock the bag. Yes, every single time we go out. Cause then if I forget and we don't have diapers, you're screwed, you know? So I like to just have a big handful of diapers. Yes, so I don't have to replenish them every time and I don't have to worry about running out. So I keep those in the big pocket. I keep an entire bag of water wipes and then I keep a little aquaphor. This is what we use as diaper balm. And then in this, let's see if I can show you, this little compartment right here, this one right here, I have another aquaphor, but this is a squeeze tube and then a Dr. Bronner's magic balm. I use these for different things. So the tub of aquaphor I use as diaper balm. This aquaphor I use if she gets like a scratch or she needs some in like the crease of her arms or whatever to keep it from rubbing. Um, I don't like to use the tub on her body because a lot of times I'll just change her diaper and like put my hand in there and rub it on her butt and I just feel like it's not that clean to put all over her body. So I keep this one and then this magic balm is really nice for like her cheeks or if she has a dry spot and I'll use this on my lips too. So I keep those in there and then in this little compartment right here, this is new now that she's a little bit older. We keep a teether and one of her favorite toys. This is like a light up rattle. She's looking at it right now, very interested. You want that, Bibi? <laughs> Here you go, honey. So it lights up like this and makes noise. Here you go, Bibi. And she loves it. That one is great for if she's upset and needs to be distracted or just wants to play. And then a little teether. Now that she's four months old, it's nice to just have something she can chew on. Um, so that's new. We didn't keep toys and stuff in here when she was very little, but now we do. And then in this very side compartment here, I keep an extra binky because there have been a lot of times where it falls on the floor and it's nasty or you lose it or whatever. And then you need an extra and you don't have one and you do not want to be stuck outside the house without a binky. So yes, so extra binkies always. And then I keep the Frida baby nose sucker because she has a clogged tear duct so sometimes she gets like congestion up in her sinuses and there have been a couple times that she's been super upset because she just needs me to like suck that mucus out and I didn't have one of these and so she was really upset and I could hear that it was stuffy up there and I just needed this to get it out and she would have been a happy baby so Ben had to go to Target, grab one of these so I could relieve her from her discomfort because we left it at home. And I just find that it's really good to have this. You just never know when you're gonna need to suck the boogers out. So I keep that in there. And it's been super helpful. And the last thing that I keep in here, but she's actually playing with it right now. Come on, my see for one second, baby. Yes, is I keep this little colorful crinkle book it's her favorite book ever and it keeps her occupied forever. She can play with it, look at it, chew on it. So we bring that all the time. Thank you, mamas. So that is it. That's what I keep in my diaper bag. It may be a little overboard. I am definitely a overpack compared to underpack type of person, but we use everything in this diaper bag and it's been super helpful. That way we always have what we need and yeah, that's everything. So I'll link everything down below, including the bag that I have and the bundle I was talking about. So if you guys want to get anything, it'll be easily found down below. But that is it. I hope that you guys find this video helpful. My girl is ready to play now. So that's it from me today. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.